Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about the peripheral signs of aortic regurgitation. These are basically a one-liner questions or MCQ pattern questions. And you know, we can also explain it in if there are five marks questions that explain the signs of aortic regurgitation. So let's start it. Now the signs. First is collapsing pulse, water hammer pulse. Best appreciated on the radial artery when the arm is elevated. This is characterized by a rapid upstroke, rapid downstroke, and high volume. Just make sure you remember the keywords. Okay, that is the radial artery when the arm elevates, characterized rapid down, rapid up, and the high volume. Okay, yeah. So the next is the corrigan's pulse, a jerky carotid pulse characterized by full expansion followed by quick collapse. Now just remember the mnemonic from corrigans, carotid, characterized, full expansion and collapse. Okay, yeah, just remember these keywords, they are important for you. Now the third is pulses bis fadians, best felt in carotids. This is a pulse with double peak, both being felt in systole. It is seen in severe aortic regurgitation. Okay, severe aortic regurgitation is main characteristic in function or feature of this pulses bis bisphorians. Okay, yeah. Now the next is wide pulse pressure results from a low diastolic pressure from aortic runoff and high systolic pressure from increased stroke volume. Now, wide pulse pressure. Just remember the characteristic word for this that are low diastolic pressure, okay, aortic runoff, high systole pressure, okay, and when the stroke volume gets increases, okay, just go trick wise, then it, is, it will be easy for you to remember. Hill sign, popliteal cuff, systolic pressure, exceeding brachial cuff. Systolic pressure by more than 20 mmHg that will be measured manually okay, by a BP apparatus. Now, Corrigan's neck sign prominent carotid pulsation visible in the neck. Corrigan's, we all, all already have studied here Corrigan's pulse that is carotid pulse. Okay, so Corrigan's neck sign that are felt in neck, a bit obvious for that. Landolfi sign alternating dilatation and constriction of pupil synchronous with the cardiac cycle. Muller sign pulsation of vulva. Lighthouse sign capillary pulsation on the forehead and face resulting in alternate blanching and flushing. Another is the quick chick sign. Alternate paling and flushing of lightly compressed nail bed or mucous membrane of the mouth. Okay, rose back sign. Pulsation of liver. Gerhard's sign. It is pulsation of an enlarged spleen. Stall short femorals. Foaming. Sorry, booming sound synchronous with systole heard over the femoral arteries. Just remember, just you can remember these keywords. Okay, no need to remember much long sentence. Just remember the keywords behind every of these signs. Now, trophy sign. Booming systole and diastolic sounds heard over the femoral arteries. Okay, see, systole short femorals and top signs are bit of similar to this okay just remember it just compresses with the diastolic sounds yeah. now durozis sign a systolic murmur heard over the femoral when it is compressed proximally and a diastolic murmur when it is compressed distally remember two important words 
femoral okay sorry the systole murmur okay all know femoral when it is compressed proximally and distally nearly as well as far okay yeah now the minus sign more than 15 mm hg decreases in diastolic blood pressure when sorry with arm elevation from the value obtained with the arm in the standard position okay yeah now the last one is the baker sign accentuated retinal artery pulsation is this okay now yeah i'll be i'll be reviewing quick it quick of this okay just remember there are complete 18 18 signs so just remember this gist of that what are the gist means what are the um, now muller sign it is vulva lighthouse sign you know there are flushing alternating in four heads such you just remember these quicker signs okay yeah hope you enjoy thank you